Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Hartun Harian, and today on my YouTube channel, we're going to be talking about how to find the volume on a rectangular prism. Uh, a rectangular prism is what essentially a box is. If you ever buy anything off Amazon or something, you get it in a box, right? And the box is usually either a cube or a rectangular prism or sometimes a circle. I don't know. Maybe doing some funky stuff over here. Anyway. We're going to find the volume of this rectangular prism, and you can find that by using this um, this formula: volume equals the length times the width multiplied by the height, the height, and then that will give you your answer. But before we get started, please take a moment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a note, uh, hit, hit the bell on the right to get daily notifications of when I post my videos, and always make sure to leave a like. Without further ado, let's get started. So essentially what a formula does is it gives you, it's like a template. And when you do with the template, you put your existing information inside a template, right? So we're going to use this template to uh, solve our little problem here. So let's do that. So we drop down the V equals our length is how long it is. So this is our four, right? So, or excuse me, our three. So three multiplied by the width, which is four multiply by the height which is five and you just multiply straight across no need for parentheses since this is multiplication so three times four is twelve you bring it down twelve times five gives us sixty and that will be your answer your volume equals sixty and remember if this had a centimeter or inches or whatever you would also put that inches cubed since this, since this is a three-dimensional object would have that as Q. Let's move on to our next example. Okay, guys, we're back. So what we're gonna do is again, do the same thing we did for the prior, uh, the first example, and just plug in our numbers into this formula and that will get your answer. This, the geometry is pretty straightforward if you just memorize your formulas and know your, your facts, like the triangle, all the angles need to add up to 180, or that an isosceles triangle has 60 degrees on all angles and any given triangle or any given isosceles triangle. If you know that, then you'll be able to pretty much just solve geometry as is. So let's just plug in our numbers and see what we get. So volume equals our length, four times the width, six times the height, three. Okay guys, so we get an answer of 72 once we multiply all of these together and our volume equals 72. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Okay, guys, we're back and we're going to solve this last um, last example. So here we have a bit of a bigger numbers. We have a 13, a 12, and a 7. And just like we did for the last example and the one before that, we're just going to plug it in and get our answer. So let's do that. So volume equals the length is 12 times the width. It's 13 times the height is 7. And I already went ahead and did this. And your answer should be, by multiplying all these three together, 1,092. And that is your answer. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to copy, these, copy the board down on the piece of paper to help you. Remember this in the past. Until next time, I'm Harvard Sinarian. Keep on learning, kids.